Hello guys, welcome back to a brand new video and welcome back to Lead to Predictions. I hope you all had a marvellous Christmas, um, but there's no rest for the wicked. Football's back this weekend. Um, before we get started, this video is sponsored by LOL T-Shirt Company. Um, obviously, you might have heard of them before. If you have, then you know I do my merch. Um, the link for my merch is down in the description below, so go feel free to have a look after this video. Um, there's a few results that went, you know, not quite according to plan this weekend, let's be honest. But anyway, guys, you know what to do. So, guys, you know what to do. Subscribe for more. Thanks for watching, and let's go. So, the first game we're going to talk about is Bradford versus Mansfield. Um, Bradford, nil nil away to Carlisle. Bit disappointed on a Bradford point of view, if I'm all honest, sitting in fifth. Um, Mansfield, 2 2 at home against Port Vale. Um, probably a great point for Mansfield, who are currently in 19th position, and uh, 24 points. Going forward, um, now there's only a point between Bradford of 37 and Crew, who are in um, third. I'll go stick up for Bradford to win this game and I'm going to go for a 2 0 Bradford City win. My next one is Cambridge versus Morecambe. Um, Cambridge losing 4 0 away to uh, Swansea Town. Morecambe losing 2 1 at home to Oldham Athletic. This point though for Cambridge. Um, you know, I, I still I still think highly of them at this specific time. Twenty eight points, just ten points off the relegation zone. Um, Morecambe sitting down in twenty third with eighteen points. How do I call this one? I'll call this one a draw, and I'll go for a one all scoreline for that one. My next one is Colchester versus Exeter. Um, Colchester um, losing, uh, sorry, Col <laughs> beating Lake Norman 3 1. Sorry, I'm nearly mucked up there. Um, Exeter beating Newport County 3 uh, 1 0 at home. Um, going forward with this game, if this is like a really tight game, two top teams in top of League 2, Colchester in fourth and Exeter in the second. So I'll go for a one all scoreline for that one. My next one is Crew Alexander Crew Alexander versus Scunthorpe. Um Crew currently sitting in third and you know um losing to Sulphur City uh three one away from home. So disappointed day for Crew Alexander. Um, Scunthorpe losing 2 0 at home to Walsall. Going forward between the two clubs, um, I think this game's going to be an interesting one, but I'll go for a 2 0 crew win. My next one is Forest Green versus Mac Macclesfield. Um, Forest Green had a very disappointing day and drawing 0 0 away to Stevenage. Um, Macclesfield beating Grinsby one. Uh, sorry, drawing with Grinsby one one at home. Now we all know that the financial problems that Macclesfield are in. Um, we've obviously all seen what the EFL are intended to do. I just don't want another bury to happen. Um, you know, never because I think it's unfair on you guys and guys like me who I do guys support my team that. We should get football taken away from us. It shouldn't be like this. I know football's a big business, but I think the EFL have got to start thinking, if it weren't for the fans, there'd be no football club. If it weren't for the football club, there'd be no EFL. It all comes into one, and I think the EFL needs to start thinking that. And start thinking of well, penalties for clubs, for this situation, you know, to happen. They can't keep taking out on the fans. It's unfair on the fans that pay their money to go watch their team play. Um, 
But, you know, should the EFL Tottenham have checks, please feel free to put comments down below what do you think the EFL should do for the clubs in financial trouble. Um, going forward, um, Forest Green had a disappointing day. Um, I reckon I can have another disappointing one and I'll go for a 1-0 Macclesfield win. My next one is Grimsby Town versus Crawley Town. Crawley Town beating Northampton Town 4-0 at home. Great three points for Crawley. Um, yeah, again, go with... I mean, how does that happen? Um, and I, no disrespect to Crawley, but 4-0 win over, let's face it, uh, playoff candidates. Um, Grimsby Town beating... Ma uh, so we're drawing with Macclesfield 1-0. One all away from home. Um, let's go look at the league table. Crawley are 16 and Grimsby are in 20th, which I'll go, go for a Crawley Town win and I'm going to go for a 2 0 Crawley Town win. My next one is Newport versus Lake Norian. Lake Norian loses 3 1 at home to Colchester. Newport County lose a 1-0 at home away from home, sorry, against Exeter. Yeah, again, these two teams going forward. Um Newport down in 14, Flake Norian down in 18. So it's tight between the two, so I'll go for a one-all scoreline for that one. My next one is Northampton Town versus Cheltenham. Northampton Town Bit, uh, losing to Crawley Town 4 0 away from home. Very disappointed day for Northampton Town. Cheltenham 1 1. Uh, sorry, losing 1 0 at home to Plymouth Argyle. Um, so both teams are going to be disappointed. Both teams are, you know, you've got one team looking. Actually, yeah, yeah I've got both teams looking at the pro uh, playoff promotions uh, candidates. Um, so I'm going to go for a 2-2 scoreline for that one. My next one is Oldham Athletic versus Salford City. Um, Salford City, great three points for them, beating Crew Alexander. 3-1 at home. Um, big, big statement going forward for Salford, I personally do think. Um, you know, going up against Oldham. Who uh, lost a uh, beat Matt and Morkham 2 1 away from home? I think that's a big statement for Salford. We all know who old Salford have said it more than once in my predictions, but I still have to go out and play the football. So great three points for Salford. Um, going forward, you've got Oldham in 17th, you've got Salford in 11th. There is just literally what three points between the two clubs. Going forward, plan away from home, I'll go for a 2-1 Oldham Athletic win. My next one is Plymouth Argyle versus Stevenage. Stevenage drawing with Forest Green 0-0 at home. Plymouth Argyle beating uh, Cheltenham 1-0 away from home. Great three points for uh, Plymouth Argyle there. A uh, great point for Stevenage as well. Um, yet again, how do I predict this one going forward? I go for a Plymouth Argyle win and I'll go for a 1 0 Plymouth Argyle win. My next one is Port Vale versus Swindon Town. Um, Swindon Town beating uh, Cambridge 4 0 at home. Great three points for Swindon Town. Um, Port Vale. Drawing 2-2 away to Mansfield. Um, as I said, great point for um, Swindon Town now. I know I think I put down to win, but I didn't put it that highly. So. But as far as this game goes, going forward, you've got Swindon all the way at the top. You've got Paul Fell down in 10th. Um, I'll go for a 2-1 Swindon Town win. My last one for this weekend is Walsall versus Cardiff. Walsall beating Scunthorpe 2-0 away from home. Cardiff 0-0 with Brentford. Great point for Cardiff. Got Cardiff down in 21st. You got Walsall down in 15th. 
yet again, I think it's going to be a close game. And I'll go for a 2-1 Walsall win. But anyway, guys, you know what to do. Subscribe for more. Thanks for watching. Give us a big fat thumbs up if you enjoy it. And ciao for now.